There are apps such as Adobe After Effects, whose pretty much sole purpose is to create VFX or visual effects. However, Final Cut Pro has some pretty cool effects built in, and you can get many plugins to extend the functionality. But let me show you how to get started with effects inside of Final Cut Pro. After you open a Final Cut, you're going to have an empty interface like we see here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Import Media to import a time lapse I have stored on the desktop. On the right side, I'm adding it to my existing event, which just has today's date on it. I'm going to copy that clip to the library. After importing that clip, at the bottom, I'm going to click on New Project. You can also use the shortcut Command N. Now, right now, the project's called Untitled Project. You should always name your projects to stay organized. And I know this is my time lapse, so I'm going to type in time lapse. And it's saved in that 8119 event with today's date. So I'm going to click on OK. Now, when we're talking about naming, you'll notice my untitled library up here. I'm going to rename that as well to time lapse so that everything has a consistent name. If you have untitled stuff, Take that extra couple seconds to rename things. It'll make troubleshooting problems and staying organized much easier. So with my clip added, here's the little time lapse of the sun rising. I'm just going to click on it and drag it down onto my timeline at the bottom. I'm going to use the shortcut Shift Z to zoom in and fit that clip. And then on the right side, I'm going to click on the Effects Browser, which is this little button on the right side of the toolbar. You can also use the shortcut Command 5 to open or hide that effects browser. So on the left column here, we see a list of all of the different categories of effects. Both video, which would be our VFX, and also audio sound effects are in there as well. So you can scroll through this list and click on any of these categories to see some of the examples of effects that are built in. If you install third-party plugins, such as FX Factory Pro, you're going to see those categories listed here as well. That is one of the great things about Final Cut is you can extend it fairly easily. So there are many, many plugins out there that you can get to extend the functionality. Now these effects can be as simple as a color change like we see here with black and white. And if I scrub across this or skim across it, you'll notice we see the time lapse in black and white almost in real time. Final Cut is extremely powerful, so you can preview these effects. We can see a colorize effect here. Now, if I want to go and I can go to the blur category and see what it would look like if I blurred one of these clips. And that's how you preview effects. To actually apply an effect, say I want to go down here and take a look, for example, I can apply one of these effects by dragging the effect onto the clip and then drop it and that applies that effect. If I do Command Z, that will undo that. I can also double click on the effect here, and that'll apply it as well. You'll notice at the top of the timeline, there's a little dat dotted line here. This lets us know that this clip is unrendered. When you're applying these effects and you play it back, it might not play back completely clear, maybe a little bit blurry, and that's okay. It just means that Final Cut has not rendered that clip yet. As long as you have background rendering turned on, which we do, the clip has already gone through and been rendered by Final Cut. So that's what's great, is you don't have to do anything. Background rendering will go ahead and render that clip so it can play back basically in real time as long as your computer can support it. Now these effects can be customized. With your clip selected, go up to the inspector and click on the video inspector, which is this little film strip looking one, and there's our faded green effect. And I can change the amount of that faded green, the brightness, and if I had people in the shot, I could protect their skin tones by dragging that up. So most of these effects are going to have the ability to customize them inside of the inspector. However, if you want to take it a step further, you can right-click or control-click on these clips and say Open in Motion. Motion is a separate purchase of an application, but if you open up these effects in Motion, you can actually customize them beyond what is included with Final Cut Pro.